Published 052 Eastern Standard Time, the 24th of December 2017. Updated 853 Eastern Standard Time, the 24th of December 2017. Tributes have poured in for a Melbourne mother and her 18-month-old baby who were tragically killed in a horror car crash while on holiday in Zimbabwe. Claire Penno, 32, and her daughter Anish died, on the spot, after Ms. Penno's husband, Emmanuel Mpofu, lost control of the car they were traveling in near Victoria Falls on Thursday, local media reported, the diver lost control of the vehicle resulting in it veering off the road and overturning before it rolled several times, police told Zimbabwe newspaper The Chronicle, tributes have poured in for Melbourne mother Claire Penno left and her 18-month-old baby who were tragically killed in a horror car crash while on holiday in Zimbabwe. Ms. Penno, 32, and her daughter reportedly died, on the spot, after Ms. Penno's husband, Emmanuel Mpofu, lost control of the car they were traveling in near Victoria Falls on Thursday. Mr. Mpofu and a teenager believed to be his son survived the crash and were rushed to the hospital. Ms. Penno, who worked at a Melbourne child care centre, is being remembered by friends and family as a wonderful person. Claire was just an innately good and wonderful person, passionate about welfare of all people, and compassionate. Beyond measure, and tribute reads, she loved and centred her life on the welfare of children, their education and expanding their potential. She was amazing, she was beautiful inside and out and she was loved. Claire was just an innately good and wonderful person, passionate about welfare of all people, and compassionate beyond measure, and tribute reads a GoFundMe page has been set up to bring the bodies back to Australia and Ish was just starting her life, of character, personality and such intelligence. She had so much potential to bring to the world, another friend wrote, Claire was a beautiful and caring soul who was making a difference in the early childhood space. Always put others before herself, this festive season is about spending time with family and loved ones. I can only imagine how both their families feel. A GoFundMe page has been set up to bring the bodies back to Australia. As of Sunday afternoon, it had raised over $27,000.